Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubbardton Forge Forged Reeds wall sconce. This is the 205750. There is a left and there is a right version of this. And why don't we go over a few little details? So let's go over size to begin with. So overall height of the fixture is 12 inches and it is nine inches wide. Projection is four inches, and that's gonna be from the wall going out. So anything that's four inches or less, as far as projection goes, qualifies this to be what's called ADA compliant. Uh, ADA compliance, Americans with Disabilities Act, it um, allows you to use this in a situation like if you're a specifier or architect or interior designer, and you need an ADA compliant sconce to be putting into your project, could be a, you know, hospital, golf club, restaurant, something like that. And it, uh, the whole idea of ADA is it's going to allow space so a wheelchair or people can move by this in a hallway. So anyway, this is ADA compliant for those of you who are specifying those kind of things, just FYI. So um, why don't we get into glass on this because this is a little um, interesting, we'll call it. Um, so you're going to have two different diffusers on this, uh, or, or we're going to call lenses, we'll call it. So one of them is going to be white art glass, and that's this actual piece of glass off the fixture itself. It's matte on the back and has a little bit of a shine on, on the front, and it's kind of like, um, it's, it's a, a swirly white. I don't know if you can catch the swirls in it. And the other option is going to be called um, faux alabaster. It's actually called uh, a decaf, a decaf acrylic. But in, that, in reality, what it's supposed to be is a faux alabaster. It's a high-end plastic acrylic. It's not inexpensive. It's uh, beautifully made. And um, it'll limit you a little bit on the amount of light coming out. It's a little less than this. Um, a lot of people aren't familiar with the decaf acrylics from Hubbardton Forge. There's only a couple of them running around the line still. There used to be a lot more. But um, it is a plastic lens at the end of the day. So, it, But again, the quality is incredibly high. Replacement cost is really high on it too. Gorgeous, beautifully made. But that, those are your two limits uh, for glass. You're going to have that decap acrylic on one side, and then you're going to have this white art glass on the other side. So uh, let's walk into um, lamping. So this is pretty easy. This is going to have a medium base socket, one of them facing up. You can put in anything you like up to 100 watt for an incandescent, and that's because of the heat generated by an incandescent bulb. It's uh, just a porcelain A medium base socket, and you can put in your own screw and bulb just like that. And this is an LED. Um, you can put in an incandescent, like I said, up to a 60, I'm sorry, up to 100 watt. Any kind of LED you want to go in this, anything will fit. I, I, there's probably nothing out in the world that's too big to, to get into this. So if you guys are going to be putting it on a dimmer, make sure you buy dimmable, dimmable LEDs and that your dimmer switch on the wall is set up for LEDs or these will flicker. Um, if you are doing um, a situation where you need a GU24 socket, and this is a GU24 LED dedicated, so let's say you're, we're back to... Um, architects, interior designers who are specifying for maybe a California Title 20 compliancy kind of thing or a LEED certified building or you're doing a hospital where they're making you only do these GU24s for whatever reason, could be a tax reason. Uh, we can do this as a custom, it's not a big deal. Adds a little time, adds a little money, not returnable, but we do it all the time. For almost every single other customer out in the world, this one is going to be just fine for you because you can put in your own screw and LED. Okay. So after that, why don't we talk about metal finishes. If you're on our website, handmadeinvermont.com, midway down, left-hand side is a finishes help guide. Give it a click, and then you're, you're going to see a picture of a, a YouTube video, which I think you should watch, because it's going to reference the chart that's just below it. And that chart has all the finishes you can order this in, and you'll see that the pictures have the letter A or the letter B on them, and that's going to show you the differences in forging and how translucent translucent finishes look on forging, all of that's going to be talked about in that video. So watch the video and then kind of look at that chart and, and you should be good to go on your finishes. Okay. So um, again, we have this in our showroom. We have it in the white art glass and I think it's dark smoke. Um, it's on the first floor. Our showroom has over 350 Hubbardton Forge fixtures on display. We have a what's on display page on our website. It's in the red, same red tabs as the finishes help guide, a little higher up. It's going to show you everything that's on the floor, th over 350 products, and um, what they're in as far as glass goes, finish, shade materials, all those good things. And then in addition to that, our showroom um, has a clearance center. Clearance, clearance center things are 75% off MSRP, and 
you can walk out the door with them. There are returns, discontinued things, showroom samples, all those, all those kind of things. And um, a lot of people enjoy looking through there when they come in to use the showroom. Showroom is open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. And then phones are open every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern. Um, and then on top of all of this, Hubbardton has a limited lifetime warranty for all of their products for residential use. You can check that out on their website. It's on the very bottom. There's a link on the front, front page of their site. Just go all the way to the bottom, scroll down, and you'll see it hiding down there. Very, very easy to find. It's not hiding, but it's on the very bottom. So what about, oh, lead time. So Hubbardton has a normal lead time is three to four weeks in production over there. They don't stock anything. We do offer a rush program. Rush takes you from that three to four weeks down to a little under two weeks. It's very inexpensive. If you're ordering a whole bunch of it's exactly the same thing, it's dirt cheap. So um, I think you should call. Find out about it. It doesn't cost you anything. And a lot of people don't know about it, but they want to get their things faster. So that said, uh, what else? So when you order your Hubbardton Forge fixture from Handmade in Vermont, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. There's no tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont. And we have 90-day returns and no restocking fees, which no one else has. Details are on our website about that. So I think that kind of covers everything. Um, in addition to all that, if you guys want to come visit us we, in our wonderful showroom, we have vacation rentals here. Visit stayinvermont.org and you'll be able to check that out. And um, we're good to go. So thanks for stopping in. We'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.